In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install IntelliJ 2021.2.3 Windows 11. Let's go to Oracle website, Java, download Java. We're going to install JDK 17.0.1 Windows X64 installer. Okay, double click. Next, this is how we're going to install JDK. Close it. Now we're going to set up a system environment properties, admin system settings. Admins, environment variables, new class pass to current directory period. OK. New Java Home Past Dedicated Directory Java. This is the one. Copy. Paste it. OK. Click. Uh, pass, edit, new, and percent, Java home, and percent, backslash, and bin, binary directory. That's where we have a Java, and then Java C. We have a Java runtime and then a Java compiler. Okay, okay, okay. Close it. Let's go to command line. You can type Java dash version. It will display uh, Java 17.0.1. Let's go to OpenJFX website. Download. There is a new version just came out, um, 17.0.1. I will um, select Windows. 64 bits. I'm going to download uh, JavaFX SDK version. Download. Basically, you can just unzip to uh, your favorite directory. So, in my case, I will unzip to program files Java directory. Let's go to C drive, program files, Java. This is where I'm going to keep Java FX SDK. Continue. So let's look at inside. You can go to library. There are Java FX uh, libraries available for you. Let's go to Gulon's uh, website.
latest version is 17.0.0 you need at least java 11 or higher i'm using with uh, java 17.0.1 Okay, install. We can run it. Next, terms and conditions. Okay. Try to remember this location when you uh, compete with the IntelliJ or NetBeans. Next, install. Finish. Let me bring it back again. Uh, it's on the C drive. Users, your username. Mine is Ken. And then it's a hidden, so you may need to uh, turn it on. Okay, let's change the settings so that we can see hidden folders and files. View. Okay, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Apply. Okay. Now you can see uh, app data, hidden folders. We can browse to local. Then there should be a sim builder. Okay, this is the one you have a sim builder. Normally it's going to create the, um, the show code on desktop. Okay, our sim builder here. This is uh, Java FX and Builder 17.0.0. Let's go to ZBrain's website and then download. We are going to download version 2021.2.3. Now we'll download Community Edition. Okay, load it. Next, uh, this is where we are going to install IntelliJ. Next, okay, here we are going to create a stop shortcut. Next, install. Okay, finish. We do not want to import settings from previous version. Here's the new menu. Let's start with a simple Java application using JDK 17.0.1. Next. This is going to be a command line application, so let's create a project from template. Uh, it's going to add main method project name I will say um, hello world finish I will just close it Okay, uh, what's new? Close it. So this project comes with a main Java with a main method. 
So system are printed in hello world. Let's build project. Then uh, run this project. So you can see uh, hello world with uh, JDK 17.0.1. Okay, let me show you. I'm using uh, IntelliJ IDE 2021.2.3. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Let's create a new project. This time I'm going to do um, Java FX. Project name I will say Java FX Hello World. Using uh, again JDK 17.0.1. Next, uh, I don't need uh, dependencies. Finish. Typically, JavaFX projects comes with uh, three different sources. One of them is um, Hello Controller, Hello Application, and then Hello View. Okay. Let me just close it. For uh, setting title, I will say Java FX Hello World. We are using a uh, Maven build, so this one you can see a uh, form.xml. Okay, I will just leave it as it is. So if you look at here, um, we can open our FXML in SimBuilder. Okay, this is where we uh, install SimBuilder. You just can. Okay, you may need to turn on um, view and then options, show hidden files and folders. Apply OK because it's hidden uh, app data local. Then you can look for same builder, and then we need to pick that same builder.exe. So let's copy that path. Okay, here are settings, languages, frameworks, Java FX. You can paste it. Then it's going to point to uh, simbuilder.exe. Make sure you select simbuilder.exe. Apply, OK. So now we can open FXM um, in simbuilder. OK, um, this is uh, simbuilder 17.0.0. Let's make a minor change on that button. I will say Java FX Hello World. Everything else I will keep it as it is. So let's save it. Return to uh, IntelliJ. We can build project. Okay, now we can run this project. Okay, edit configurations. Here we can select uh, application. I can name this application as an app. Then main class, you can select hello application. Then you can say apply and run it. So this is what you have when you click it. And welcome to JavaFX application. Okay, let's look at next one. This is a main uh, methods to launch your JavaFX application. 
Okay, let's remove our module. Okay, you can use refactor, save, delete, so that you can do non-modular programming. Okay, project structures, libraries, you can uh, remove this Maven build. So that you can uh, build your project with uh, Java FX17. Using um, a batch end build, program files, Java, Java FX SDK library. Okay. Make sure you select the library. Apply. Okay. Let's rebuild this project. Let's run applications. Now it says that um, error, Java FX runtime components are missing. So let's go to configuration. Then you can add VM options. Module paths. Include your Java FX SDK library, which you see here. Copy. Let me paste it. And then we are going to use add modules. Three of them Java FX controls, Java FX FXML, then Java FX graphics. Apply. OK. Let's try again. We are running a Java FX application with uh, JDK 17 and then uh, Java FX 17 as well. Next one, we're going to um, deploy Java FX application. So let's create a new class. Let me name it as app. This app class is going to have um, a hello application will be uh, launch within this app and then arguments okay let's go to project structure artifacts so from module with dependencies main class make sure you select app at this time okay okay and now we can add file on the binary. We are going to add uh, Windows DLL files to this project. Select them all. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now let's go to build artifacts. Build. Try to remember this location, okay, under your project, then uh, with one special folder called out. Okay, Java FX Hello World Jar. We can open it with uh, Windows Explorer. And inside, we just create a runnable Jar file and double click. And it will launch Java FX application. Uh, this is the one you can uh, deploy. Okay. That's all. Thank you.